There are so many tools out there that can help you improve your stream. I've put 50 together, 50 tools that every streamer should know about. The first tool is own.tv and also the sponsor of this video. On own.tv you can get your own overlays, emotes, badges, stream deck icons, panels, and so much more. You know what the coolest thing is? If you use code TRUI, you get 50% off. Link is down below in the description. The second tool is Stream Avatars. This is a game on Steam. It's not really a game, but this is how you run it through Steam. And it allows you to have these little avatars underneath in your stream, which represent the viewers, followers, or subscribers. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with them, like battle royales between your viewers. I do have a playlist about how to set up Stream Avatars. I'll leave that up here. The third tool is Warp World. Warp World can make your game interactive for viewers in Twitch chat so they can do weird stuff with your game while you're playing it they also allow people to queue up for let's say mario maker levels or to play a game with you like overwatch the fourth program is leon board leon board just had a new update where it's leon board 2 i've only tried leon board 1 at the moment but as far as i know it's kind of similar but just updated and it can do so much with your obs so for example triggering things with channel points in your obs or just switching scenes when something happens, giving alerts. You really need to dive into it because it can do so much and I can't even tell you all about it in this video because you know we need to go over 50 things and we're already late. The fifth tool is Tiltify. On Tiltify you can collect money for charities and by using Tiltify the money directly goes to the charity so you don't have to have it on your own account first before going to the charity. They also give you overlays and alerts so you can keep track of your donation goals really really easily. The sixth one is the Amazon Associate Program. With this program you can share links on Amazon and every time somebody buys something from these links you get some revenue from it. So basically you'll be earning money by recommending things that you already use, like your keyboard, your mouse, or maybe your lights. Seven is Stream Letter. I do have a video about that, I will leave it up here. But basically it's a tool that makes your Twitch clips into vertical content for TikTok, Hover, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, or anything like that. Eight is Hover, one of the platforms I just told you about. <laughs> it's basically TikTok for gamers. There are a lot less people on Hover than there are on TikTok, but they're all interested in gaming, which means that it's way easier to grow on Hover than it is on TikTok, because everybody there is interested in your content, and you have a lot less competitors than on TikTok, for example. The cool thing is also that you can connect your Twitch, so people can immediately click on your Twitch by going through the app, which is really, really good for conversion rates. Then nine is OBS Ninja. With OBS Ninja, you can add people into your stream or add gameplay into your stream from an other PC. I do have a video about how to add a guest in your OBS using OBS Ninja up here for you. 11 is Closed Captioner. This is a tool that will let you talk on stream while having closed captions, subtitles under your stream for people that have your stream muted or just are deaf in general and can't really listen to your stream. This way more people can watch your stream when they can't hear the stream audio. 12, that's Blurb. With Blurb you can play sounds via channel points or bits. This makes your stream more interactive for your viewers. And you know what? I do have a video about it here too. 13 is Trello. Trello is a website for organization and planning, which means that you can put a lot of your ideas in there and keep them organized. Yeah, keep them organized. Do you want to do a charity stream? Maybe you can put incentives in there or you want to plan something for Christmas, Halloween, anything. You can plan it in there and this way you can keep all your information together. 14, Google Calendar. Basically, you can plan your streams and make sure that you're in time and you know when they're gonna happen. And you can see when you did your past streams if you all schedule them in your Google Calendar. 15 is voice mode. With voice mode, you can change your microphone into something else, like sounding like a girl or a robot or anything. 16 is webcam masks. With webcam masks, you can change your camera into a different shape. I do have a lot of free webcam masks available on my Gumroad. I'll leave the link down below for you guys. 17, the Elgato Stream Deck. You might have heard of it already, but I have three of them and I always feel like I'm running out of buttons. I know you can make maps, but you know, I really like having the buttons so that I can immediately press them instead of like going into maps. So uh, the more Elgato Stream Decks, the better. <laughs> Seriously, I really love them. 18, Anchor. I know a lot of you do podcasts live on Twitch and Anchor is really good for putting your podcasts on other platforms. So you can 
upload it on Anchor and it immediately spreads to all the other platforms that you can listen podcasts on. And this makes it so much easier for people to find your podcast. 19. Webcam Border 2. There's this Webcam Border tool where you can make a Webcam Border like super easily. You can customize literally everything and it's super easy to do. So leave the link to that down below in the description as well. 20 is Stream Elements. This is the bot I use for alerts, but also for chat timers and commands and stuff like that. And you can have your own free merch on there, which is really, really cool. 21, Canva. This is a website for graphic designing. You can design your own overlays in here or panels or anything you need for your stream. Maybe you need a post on Instagram, Twitter. You can design literally everything in there for free, which is cool. 22, Pulsoid. Pulsoid allows you to have your heart rate displayed on stream. So if you play a scary game, people can see how scared you're getting. Then we have Solinome and Twitch Tracker. On both of these sites, you can track your own stats and you can see which games are doing well for you and which games aren't. 25 is Stream Loose. This is an alternative and really fun way of donating to a streamer. So you collect these cards and these cards can be played in stream. Therefore, the streamer needs to do something depending on what they have put on that card. And the way to get these cards is by donating money to the streamer. So basically you get something in return for what you're donating. This is all up to the streamer what all these cards are for. So you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. Then we have a bunch of sites that can help you request game keys so you don't have to pay for everything yourself because it can be really expensive to be a Twitch streamer, isn't it? We have Keymailer, Woofit and Terminals which are just sites where you can request a game. You also have Daredrop. On here you can request a game and then do some challenges in the game. And for all the challenges you complete, you get extra game keys for other games to give them away to your viewers. Then we have a couple more bots. Besides from Stream Elements that I was using, we still have Nightbot, which I still use for giveaways because I really like that for giveaways. <laughs> and Streamable. I have heard so much about Streamable and I'm definitely gonna take a look into it because people have been telling me that I should be using it, but I haven't yet. So if you use it, tell me in the comments and tell me that I need to use it because I, I really need to figure this out. Then we have Better Twitch TV and Franker's Face. These are extensions for your browser, which allow you to add more emotes, for example, to your stream, but also have more customization on Twitch chat, for example. If you're still watching and you like this video, don't forget to like this video. The next one is Snap Camera. With Snap Camera, you can actually change your face into, I don't know, a robot or something like that, which in combination with the voice mod, you might be an actual robot. Then we have some cool games that you can play on stream. Words on stream, checkbox, Party Packs, Marbles on Stream, Stream Raiders, Choice Chamber, and Dead Cells. I know Dead Cells is also a single player game, but you can actually connect it with your Twitch and let viewers interact with the whole game. We're at 40 right now, guys. My Wishlist Extension. This is an extension for Twitch where you can show your Amazon wishlist. This way people can order things from your wishlist on Amazon without knowing your address and send it directly to you. 41 is MailChimp. On MailChimp is a website where you can make uh, an email list. And I know email sounds like it is for all people, but email lists still work for promotion. Maybe you can tell them that you're live or that you have new content or something like that. You know what I mean? Then we have Fiverr. On Fiverr, you can basically request anything for money. So you can have overlays and stuff like that, but you can even have somebody do a voiceover. So you could have somebody say, thank you for the follow in a weird voice or something like that. They, you can, there, there's so many endless possibilities on Fiverr you can hire somebody for literally anything. Then we have OBS Studio. I don't know why I brought this up this late in the video, but if you haven't heard of OBS Studio right now, go download it because this is the way to go. Then for OBS, you have OBS plugins, which you can download on the OBS form. I do have a couple of videos about some plugins, but I'll run out of cards to actually link them. So that's a little bit of a shame. <laughs> but an example of a plugin, for example, is a move transition tool. Then on 45 is the affinity suit. They have their own version of Photoshop which is called Affinity Photo. Then they have their own version of Adobe Illustrator, which is called Affinity Designer. So those are definitely programs I would pick up. Affinity often does discounts where you can get 50% off. So make sure to keep an eye on that. Plus, the cool thing about Affinity is this is a one-time payment. So if you see like 50 bucks, that's just 50 bucks forever and not per month like for Adobe. Then we have DaVinci Resolve. So you know how to draw things, edit things in Photoshop right now. I mean, Affinity Photo, right? But you also want to edit videos, but very cheaply. DaVinci Resolve does have a free version. So this is the way to go without any budget. Then for pixel art, there's a program on Steam again called Asperite. This is a really good program to make pixel art in. 
and it's really easy to use. It's also not that expensive, so don't worry about that. Then we have Twitch markers. They're actually really important and a lot of people don't use them enough. So what you can do is you can mark a place in your stream by typing slash marker and then the name that you want to give the marker. Then when you go to your highlights, you can actually see this marker in your phone, knowing that that thing that you marked was happening right there. Really easy for making clips or editing purposes. Another thing that people really forget to do is Twitch collections. On Twitch, you can highlight a vault. If you highlight it, it will stay forever. If it's just a vault, it will go away. If you highlight a vault and you highlight gameplay, you can put them in a collection. For example, you can make a collection for every game. That's what I do. And people can watch back all the streams that you did from that one game and still follow the whole story, even though they missed the stream. And the last one I want to talk about is Twitch pronouns. So what you can do is you can add pronouns to Twitch chat. So you know how your viewers want to be called so you don't make any awkward mistakes. That was 50. If there's any tool that you want the whole video about, leave that down below in the comments because you know, this might have gone fast, but what am I supposed to do? I needed to go over all 50 of them, you know? I've got so many more tips on how you can grow your stream, not just with tools, but also things that you can learn yourself. So let's jump into this playlist where I teach you all about how to grow your stream. See you there.